Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She operates with divine discernment. Mm -hmm. She's a spiritual catalyst for healing and she tirelessly serves those in need of guidance while on their path toward purpose and passion. Yes, her ministry has certainly been a gift to my family as we still utilize the tools she gave us when we appeared on her award-winning series, Iyanla Fix My Life, several years ago. And of course, the Braxton family has also been blessed by her words of wisdom, and she's talked with us through some extremely tough times. She joins us now to share her love and light. Please welcome minister and spiritual coach, life coach, Iyanla Van Zandt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when you hear those words about yourself, does it uh, still seem surreal? No, it's humbling. Yeah. You know, I just do what I love. Yeah. And so to hear how it affects people, uh, it's humbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just kicked off the Acts of Faith remix tour. Yes. yes. What's been uh, the greatest, I guess, surprise for you? Um, that there are people alive who haven't read Acts of Faith. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when it came out, everybody had the little purple book. Mm -hmm. That was 25 years ago. Wow. So there are people now who don't even know what Acts of Faith is. But yeah. back then, you know, everybody had a little purple book. Yeah. And so just to bring the wisdom from the page to the stage is really yes. 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 Do you actually have to prepare for the tour? Or what's your preparation like? Well, for this tour, I, I tried to prepare because I, I was afraid people weren't gonna come out. Mm. And, uh, and uh, I tried to memorize uh, what I was supposed to say, but I'm old as hell. I, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't remember, so I said, oh well, let me just do what I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these years, I've never gone on stage with a prepared speech. Mm. Wow. 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 wow, wow, wow. Awesome. Um, you know what, Ianla, you, you pour out so much of yourself. Um, and with that in mind, I'm, I'm reminded of a quote that a minister and actress, Priscilla Shire, said when she came here the other day, and I've been reading her book as well, says in her, in her devotional, Awaken, she speaks about the importance of rest and says yeah, yeah. that quiet time is not an excuse for the lazy, but a wise investment mm. for the diligent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, how right can women time. like us who are moms and lead extremely busy lives apply this, 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 find, find my the time. goodness. If you could do five minutes three times a day, five minutes, you'd mm. be surprised how five minutes of stillness, I'm talking stillness, no phone, no texting, no music, just get still and connect with your breath. Mm -hmm. How that replenishes the mind mm -hmm. and the spirit and the soul, just five minutes. So if you've got so much to do that you can't give yourself 15 minutes of your day, mm -hmm. then you got, you too busy. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk a little bit about the new season of Fix My Life. Yes. <laughs> you, you've been around for a while. And we've seen some very, <laughs> I gotta tell you, we've seen some fascinating stories and yeah. we've seen you take some families and completely get them through in a very positive way. What can we expect this season that is unique to the previous seasons? Mm. Dealing with men. Mm. <laughs> we need to deal with them now. We start out with the Mitchell brothers mm -hmm. and really looking at them. Uh, we have another story about a father who abandoned his sons and, and what happened. We have a story of a, a, a African American man married to a white woman and what happened. So really going in on men because our men are suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. they don't do like, they don't talk like we do. They don't mm -hmm. connect like we do. So we've got to give them some tools and some yes. skills. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, a lot in the news. Um, mm -hmm everyone is talking about the when they see us. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of reactions happening through social media and through celebrities and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and of course it arouses, you know, what's happening in our community with police brutality. And I'm wondering what can we do, as, especially as black people, to avoid these PTSD-like symptoms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you've you got to deal with the trauma. We have to deal with the trauma. I was alive in New York and active during this Central Park Five. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and let me just send my love to those brothers mm -hmm. and also to, yo, my brother Jay-Z holding yes. it down in Brooklyn. <laughs> yes. But we've got to call a thing a thing, really, mm -hmm. and deal with the trauma. The first thing begins in not uh, minimizing or excusing what happened, whatever your trauma yes. is. Mm -hmm. Call it out. Even if to yourself, call it out because you cannot 
neutralize it, dissolve it, heal it until you call it what it is. And we all have to do that. Everybody, yeah. everybody has trauma. Yes. You have trauma just by being black. Come on then, black and trauma. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's in your DNA. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. There are things that trigger you that don't have nothing to do with you. Wow, mm -hmm. man. Okay, See. it's great having you here. For those watching for the full hour, you'll get more of Ayala in just a second. But uh, make sure you check out Ayala Fix My Life, a new season, Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on OWN, and the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Mm. My goodness, we were about to get, we were about to go down to the end. <laughs> <laughs>
choose how mm -hmm. to be in relationship with them. To cut them off means cast you off, never look in your direction. You should be, uh, you know, denied oxygen. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 I don't feel that way. Yeah. No. But I get to choose yeah. how, you know. Who, I'm the, who you invite into yeah, your life and, and who, who you share your space with right. in your energy. And you can very much so be in the same room with me. And I can be very pleasant. And I can actually be very cordial. That means hi and bye. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that because we're in the same space that we got to be friends. No. We don't have to be friends you if you're a toxic to individual. You get to choose. All right. I have a question really quickly. How do you forgive an error, an, an error in your life? Mm, your own good. or someone else's? Your own yeah. and uh, maybe the how you've been in that situation with someone. Like Look let's for say the lesson. you were, mm. something happened to you back in, in, in time, that, mm -hmm. that, like that whole era was traumatic. Mm. Mm. Look for the lessons and apply the lessons. Mm. What That's did you true. learn in that era about you? about how to be, about how not to be, and apply those things now, you know? Yeah. And that's how you move through it, and that's how it becomes beneficial. Well, all of us on this table mm -hmm. uh, have time have time after time had to fight through the fatigue. Yeah. And it becomes a breaking point. I had one last week where I just couldn't even have words, and I literally fell into uh, a friend of mine's arms and just and, and cried. And how, how do we fight through it? Mm. Just life without cracking. I mean, that was just a five minute crack. <laughs> Is there a build up? <laughs> they left no. to the crack. Yes. I, think, I think those moments are good because they remind us of how fragile we are mm. as human beings. And very often we overcommit and we take on more than we need to. Mm -hmm. So when you have that crack, look back and say, okay, what do I need to eliminate? Mm -hmm. That's a little bit too much. Let me take off, you know, a little bit. But I think that the cracks are good because they remind us, lean on, look to something bigger than you, yes. mm -hmm. something greater than mm -hmm. you. And then those five minutes, I mean, what do you do just for fun? What do you do just for silly? I know, I, what do you do just for you? It's not gonna make you money, it ain't gonna get you into heaven, it's not sexually satisfying, it's just, what you. What? what is that thing? See right. me, I keep a stash mm -hmm. of Haagen-Dazs ice cream. <laughs> Girl, I will run in that freezer in a minute. Yes. Yes. And they're getting harder and harder to find. <laughs> I mean, and then I have to work for it because if I keep them in the front of the freezer, I'll go often. So I put them like in the back bed. behind yeah. Yeah. the lima beans. Yes. <laughs> Well, awesome. Thank you so much yeah. for yeah. having me. Spreading Good luck the wisdom. To we appreciate it. Continue to yes. keep our voices in the forefront Amen. and do good work. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you as well. And you as well. Of course, make sure you check out the Acts of Faith Remix Tour and a new season of Inyala Fix My Life, which airs every Saturday on OWN at 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Can we give it up to the one and only yeah. Inyala Fleming stops by to share how he's helping to reshape the narrative of young black boys. Wait yeah. till Brandon!